Hi guys, this is Elite Squad X here, and today we're playing some Garage Mod. Now, this is the third episode of Add On Recommendation, and today we're going to be doing one add on. Now, this add on is Kermite's Weapon Pack located in Weapons, and as you can see, it's quite quite big. I've got all the um, all the uh, they're each individual pack. So if you just put all of them together, I think there's one on GarageMod.org that I'll put in the description. It has all of them together. Now, this pack includes knives shotguns, sniper rifles, submachine guns and pistols. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, one weapon from each I'm just going to test them out and show you. So now I have the knife, one of the knives and you just get your usual NPC. Bottom right hand corner is ammo and as you can see throwing it here packs quite power, missed that time. Here you go, shot, hit him right there. So they pack quite a punch, the ammo is how many you throw, right click to throw the knife and left click to you know use pretty much, or in this case is basically stab so you know testing on the variety of uh, NPCs here got the head crap and everything like that and my cat's trying to get up onto my desk there he is anyway so I'm just going to continue um, yeah and moving on weapons we have the machine guns now we have the M60 so here we go it's got uh, each individual weapon has a reload animation an individual sound and a model so here we go testing out now, as you can see, muzzle flare, everything like that. And testing out on a few, as you can see, look, you can see the actual rounds going through on the left. I think I'll show you in a second. Stop aiming down sight. God's sake. Yeah, look, there you can see, look, the bullets going in. So all very well scripted and modelled, I must say myself. This actual add-on is by Kermite, which is fitting, seeing as it's Kermite's weapon pack. So now we got pistols. Some of the uh, you get, I think, three or four pistols are actually dual wield. So you left and right click to fire, and then they got their special reload animations, which I think are pretty nifty. Now some of the guns have um, different firing modes. If you hold E and right click, you will change it from a semi-automatic to a three bullet burst, and then after that, it's automatic. So uh, some of these. Uh, some of the firing uh, fire rates actually depend on your weapon, so you might get a um, sniper rifle which you can change from a semi-automatic to a automatic. Uh, not all guns have different change of fire rates, so you have to, you know, just experiment. All of these guns can be used with, you know, any mod or anything. I don't, you know, I haven't seen any compatibility issues so far. This is my favourite shotgun, Warhammer Assault Shotgun. As you can see, pretty damn powerful, got a lot of recoil. You can just fire as many bullets as you can. Some of the guns do say, as you can see, port and right there, it does say it has a triple burst, but don't take any notice of that because it is actually single burst. So now, as you can see, for all of you cop fans, this is pretty much your practical um, uh, Model A A7. As you can see, you've got the cock back and spin around. So this is to reload mechanism. As you can see, G man is taking a hell of a lot of a beating, which is pretty annoying. So I'm just going to get out a few other guns here. You know, pick a few shotguns, which I think are pretty damn powerful. This is the M M3 Shotty, or Shorty, I don't know how you say it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's right, G man, you take it to the face, and another one to the face, and another one, and one to the chest. Yeah, he is in debt. So he's going to go for a selection of shotguns here, trying to see if I can kill him not taking absolutely anything at all which is pretty damn annoying so here just gonna pull out a sniper rifle you got the M24 now the sniper rifles you do if you right click aim down sight now for some sniper rifles as you can see here it doesn't actually enhance your viewing whereas if you look for the M21 as you can see you actually have zoomed in now all the snipers do have a right click zoom in but some of them don't actually zoom in and enhance your like viewing distance they just you know change your viewing area into a scope so you have to you know experiment with the sniper rifles you want so moving on to submachine guns here variety of submachine guns oh wait hang on we're using the arctic orb which is what you're probably going to find in your counter strike source games so here we are compact Exomate. you know everyone most people know this gun from various games uh, Exomate was a prototype uh, for American Army built a prototype machine gun for quick reloads and things like that and they changed it to a compact submachine gun very high rapid rate of fire 
as you can see, nice reload animation. And Dolph's not taking none of it because he's metal, so I'm just going to get rid of him. Test out on a few zombies. Haven't actually reloaded there, so I'm going to quickly sprint away and then I can just wipe him out. Pretty accurate submachine gun there. It's unlike some of the guns, you're gonna, you might, you will get realistic recoil with some of the weapons, which I do like. So this head-on I would use in, you know, a bunch of situations if you're just having a muck about, or you could actually use it in roleplay if you're doing things like that. Now this is your pretty much your vector if you play those Call of Duty games, or in this game it's actually called the Chris. So yeah, and now we're gonna put out a pretty nice MP7A1. Um, Spawn a fast, fast zombie spawn error there. And this has been episode three of Gary's Mod Animal Recommendation. Thank you very much. This has been Elite Squad X or Harry, as they call me. Thumbs up, rate, subscribe, all that nice stuff. Thank you for watching.